Is this on? Is this rolling? Are we rolling? Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. And in this video, we are talking about infinite options, which can be quite useful by the infinite option app in ShopPad. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so with infinite options by ShopPad, you can actually let customers design their own product, kind of how they wanted it to purchase it. And so by using infinite options, the customer is allowed to customize their products, the text, the numbers, the calendars, and all of the other options that uh, they created for you. So in order to boost sales by charging additional costs on all these several aspects, infinite option provides you a product bundle feature which is quite cool so all of the fields of your product can be set up as optional or basically as required and this really allows you to play and build that perfect pro product or should i say it lets your customer build that perfect product okay that's cool but what about pricing well that's a pretty good damn question the apps comes with only one plan can you believe that and it's a paid one uh, i know you guys love free apps but actually this one is really not expensive for this app you will need to pay 6.99 a month i know I know it adds up if you have a lot of these, but you will have a 14 day free trial to kind of check it out. And that's what we're going to use right now. So if you don't like this app, I can get that. So let's look at some of the competitors before we jump in this app. You have the Bolt product option by Bolt, which this cheapest plan is about 20 bucks. Um, beside that, you have the custom product options by W3 Trends or something like that. And they have the cheapest plan at $9, if I remember that correctly. After that, you have the best custom product options by relentless app again nine bucks the advanced product options by migs work eh, again uh that's about 15 bucks per month and then you have the dynamic product options which should be this one here um by itoris inc 10 bucks a month the product personalizer by zepo apps also 10 bucks a month and then eventually you have the ultimate product option by nitro apps which is about four dollars a month that's actually the cheapest of them also you know i'll put some of the links down below one of the points that can be a huge determinator if this app is right for you or not is the integrations. Like Infinite Options app integrates with quite a couple of them. They integrate with Search Nice, Order Printer, uh, Uploadery, Spently, which we reviewed, Order Emails, and Fablet. And then as always, the last point we're going to be looking at is the ratings. How many, what are, how are they scoring on reviews? So actually this app is one of the most popular apps for product customization. They have uh, about 4.9 out of five reviews, if I can remember correctly. And that's based out of 2,941 reviews at the time of this recording, y'all. So um, this is how the breakdown looks like. Let's overlay them right here behind my piggy piggy. It's new. And as always, like we do with every app, we're just gonna overlay some of the one stars just so you can get a feel. But again, some people are just always going to complain and this might not be so pertinent to you, but I just wanted to be transparent on this. All right, the app is installed and we are on the app dashboard. So the dashboard is pretty simple. There is a top navigation. And if you scroll down, you can find the app recommendations. And in case you don't have any idea how to set up the app yourself, you can request one of their experts to install the app. Um, I think that will cost you about a $20 flat fee per theme. In the quick start section, you can choose how you want to add your custom product options. You can choose from add to all products, add to selected products, add to products of a specific type. So we will choose all products and look at that, a new window just popped up. Uh, so in this window, we should set our field label. So this is the text that appears above the form field you're about to add on the product page. So we'll go with enter the custom label and on the next window, we should set up the field name. Uh, this is the text that appears on the cart summary screen, check out and the page details. All right. So the value should be unique for all of your options. So let's go with a custom pot text. Cool, cool. We are on the new window where we should configure our custom field. In the first section, you can choose to which products you want to add custom fields and also preview matching products. Uh, you can filter product by tag, vendor type, URL handle, and what we chose all products. In the next step, we have two fields. We are already set in the previous step and we are left with the input type. 
For the input type, you can choose between text, large text, numbers, radio buttons, checkout, drop downs, swatches. I mean, you can read. So we are already decided to go with text, but let me guide you through the other field option. First one is the text option. You can use it for small captations or similar. The large one you can use if um, like for notes or things like that. Then you have the numbers. Radio buttons is if you are creating product options that are excluding each other. Um, the check boxes which, you know, if you want checkboxes, the drop down menu, ideal for like everything that's sizes. Um, swatches, this app allows you to easily create product swatches, which is really cool. Uh, you can do it by uploading an image or using the color picker. So the, especially the image part, that's really, really nice. And it's pretty easy to create. I mean, you don't even have to open the theme code, which to me, I think is a huge plus. So let's choose text since we want to add custom text to our pots. Click on save. And now we can jump to our demo shop and see what we made. All right, look at it. The custom labels are here and we created it with just a few clicks. I think it was like literally five clicks. Okay, so it, does this app actually affect your speed? We know that a lot of apps in the Shopify store affect your store speed and store speed does affect your conversion. So does this app play a role in your store speed? Let's check it out. All right, we tested the speed of the store before the app was installed. So it's relatively easy to compare the results in the history section right here. Uh, we have one additional request and all of our pages and page size changed a little bit. Uh, if you want to use this app, go for it. But if you're installing it just to try it out, then just try to avoid it. Most of these apps will add additional requests and make changes to your team code and that eventually will slow down your team. All right, what about mobile? Uh, let's check that one out right now because we know that a lot of your traffic is going to come from mobile. So does it look any good on mobile? Uh, so mobile has doing been, been doing, oh my God, I've lost my English, is important for most of the traffic these days. So uh, how does it look? We are in the demo shop. Let's jump to our product page and our custom option is loaded. And it frankly, it looks as good as it looks on desktop. So that's fantastic. All right, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you got some solid value out of it. Make sure to check out their competitors. Make sure to check out their app if you like it. Make sure to test your store speed at testyourstorespeed.com. I'm reviewing apps every single week. I'm also doing a whole bunch of other Shopify things like coding and just general entrepreneurial advice. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a huge huge amount like it would mean a lot to me basically i don't always have this ugly tie anyway thanks a lot and i will see you in the next video ciao oh that's so bad oh that's so painful that's cringe <laughs>